What is fiber and how does it keep us healthy? Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, back in the 1970s, there was a popular book published called The F-Plan Diet. It was written by Burkett and Trowell. They were two British physicians. They had traveled to Africa and were studying the health and disease traits of the African people. And they discovered that Africans had much lower rates of colon cancer, heart disease, diverticular disease, constipation, and other health problems, including diabetes. And they attributed the lack of these diseases in this, in this society to the high intake of roughage that these people were consuming. So today we now know roughage as fiber. So fiber is the part of plant foods that we can't really digest and absorb. So fiber really stays, for the most part, in the intestinal tract, and it, ex it exerts its health effects in the intestinal tract. Now studies later show that there's two kinds of dietary fiber. There's what we call soluble fiber, and there's insoluble fiber. The soluble fiber is kind of like a cholesterol cruncher fiber. It lowers cholesterol. In fact, it can lower cholesterol by up to 25%, which is similar to what a lot of drugs can do with, without the side effects. Insoluble fiber actually improves the function of the intestinal tract, reducing constipation, diverticular disease. We think it even reduces the risk of colorectal cancer, the second leading cause of cancer death in our society. The problem in our society is that we don't get enough fiber. We get about 12 to 15 grams a day across the North American diet. You need 30 to 40 grams a day to really get the health effects that fiber can offer. And you try to t divide that you know, between soluble fiber and insoluble fiber to get the cholesterol lowering effects and also to try to get the healthy bowel effects. You want to try to get both fiber, t both types of fiber rather. So you have to know what foods to eat to make this happen. Well, it, it's all explained in chapter one of my book, The Machino Optimal Living Program. And you can download chapter one for free just by clicking on the link below. What you'll learn in the chapter are the sources of soluble fiber and how soluble fiber actually lowers cholesterol and reduces your risk of heart disease. And the best cholesterol lowering foods that have this kind of fiber. And you'll also see the sources of insoluble fiber, how it supports the intestinal tract and reduces risk, we think, of colon cancer. And the best sources of, of these types of insoluble fiber foods and also what supplements you might want to include. And so it explains really how to get this fiber in a really practical way. You don't have to sprinkle sawdust shavings all over all the food that you eat. That's how people envision fiber. But it can be much more practical and appetizing than that. But you do need a, f a fiber strategy because it's very important for the prevention of many diseases and to keep you healthy. So click on the link below, download the chapter, read it, get the details, and include fiber in your diet the way that it's, it's explained there. You'll have a longer, healthier, functional life if you do. That's uh, almost certain. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and videos and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll see you're only getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.